Bonjour tout le monde. My name is Helen Nadeau. I um, live in Eagle Lake. Today I'm going to be making some molasses cookies. And to be honest with you, when we were growing up, my mother never made molasses cookies. I don't know why. But every time we went to our Aunt Irene Babin's house, she was always making molasses cookies. Puis c'était des grosses cookies. Puis vraiment, j'aimais pas ça, mais j'ai mangé pareil. Puis, euh, mais ma somme, toutes les fois qu'on allait là, était après faire des, des cookies à euh, J'ai commencé à faire des cookies à amelas euh, 4-5 ans passés quand euh, on commençait à hoster des pique-niques pour euh, Crosswinds. Puis quand ils viennent, je fais le désert. Puis je fais des cookies à amelas parce que je sais que le monde plus âgé a amené cookies à amelas. Puis tu tu quoi? C'est pas méchant. J'ai amassé ça, je n'ai fait une batch hier soir, je n'ai mangé quatre. En tout cas, for this recipe, you'll need the flour, the nutmeg, ground ginger, cinnamon, baking soda. I realize this is a big container. Uh, however, I, I use it around the house for cleaning. Puis je me lave les cheveux avec ça. Puis anyway, you're going to need the molasses, the butter, sugar, an egg, and a half a cup of hot tap water. So we're going to start with our two and a quarter cups of flour. A quarter teaspoon of salt. Two teaspoons of baking soda. Si qu'il y en a qui ont besoin du baking soda, ils peuvent venir moi. So, two teaspoons of baking soda. And one teaspoon. One teaspoon of, of cinnamon. One teaspoon of ground ginger. Puis, je vais brasser ça. Je brasse les, euh, les dry ingredients. Puis, je vais mettre ça de côté. Puis là, ici, on va mettre notre sucre. Half a cup of sugar. Now, we're going to put our one stick of melted butter. One egg, a half a cup of molasses, and I want to make sure that none of it stays in the bowl. These cookies don't really have a strong, strong taste of molasses. Now I'm going to whisk this. And then I'm going to slowly add my dry ingredients a little bit at a time. I don't use a mixer. I love this bowl because you can, you've got this thing you can, this, you can put your thumb through it and it works great. I'm trying to make sure that you put farine that you bowl 
I'll add a little bit more of the dry ingredients. I'm going to cup the hot tap water. I'm going to pour a little bit. Stir this till the flour is well blended. And this recipe makes about between 25 and 28 cookies. I'll add some more of my dry ingredients. A little more of the hot tap water. Puis je vais Il y a encore de la farine dans le fond de la boîte après que tu as fini tes cookies. So that's the rest of my dry ingredients. The rest of my hot tap water. Mix it till it's very, very well blended. And now, so you can see, this is what the batter looks like after you've um, mixed it and you want to make sure you don't have any lumps or so we're good to go. Our batter is all ready. I've prepared my cookie sheet and I use a piece of parchment paper. I've done it without the parchment paper in the past and you don't need to grease your cookie sheet. But I like to use the parchment paper. And I use this uh, scoop. It's a number 40, which is one and a half teaspoons. So I'm going to scoop this up. And I leave some space in between because they will spread out and you don't want them touching. And I think I think if I'm careful, I can, I can put eight on here. It takes eight minutes to cook, but I set my timer for four minutes and I turn my pan around. I flip my pan. Là, je suis prête pour les mettre dans le fond d'eau. On met un ici. Puis un ici. Puis je vais mettre mon timer pour 4 minutes. The timer went off. I'm going to just flip this around. Put this one around as well. And set my timer for 3 more minutes. And 7 minutes. Là, yep. Puis, we'll put them on this rack to cool. And I didn't know this, but the longer you let your cookies cool, the more flavor they're going to get that say I didn't know that and so I, I let them cool for hours could have made them a little bit smaller they're still not as big as my Aunt Irene's Des bonnes cookies en glace. Ah, oh, sont toutes frisées. Puis là, on va essayer les cookies wertes qui sont mangeables. Bon appétit!